Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Fierce than the Hulk, you say he's a policeman. Chapter 16. According to Tong Yongfeng's account. A few days ago, he was selling stolen goods in an alley in Shuido Street, and was about to leave after finishing the incident. As a result, a group of people suddenly ran out of a residential house, all of them looking ferocious, mixed with men and women. They were divided into four groups, and Tong Yongfeng was terrified at the time, so he hid behind a trash can. Not long afterward, a group of people went and returned, and at the same time they brought back a child. The child was about seven or eight years old, his body was covered in blood, and his face was pale. At night, it looks especially miserable. Tong Yongfeng didn't think so much at first, thinking that these people were a family. But he overheard words such as, the buyer has found it, this child's kidney, and Tong Yongfeng was shocked and pale. Traffickers. Maybe it's not just human traffickers. Both Zhao Hao and Fei Gan's eyes shot brightly, and then they both looked at Tong Yongfeng at the same time. Tong Yongfeng also seemed to see the meaning of the two. Immediately, he vowed, Really, these are what I have seen with my own eyes, and I have all fallen into your hands. Lying to you will only add to my guilt. Zhao Hao and Fei Gan nodded. Tong Yongfeng's words are very credible. If your news is true, Xiao Wang Mao, then I will guarantee you, and I will definitely treat you leniently at that time. Zhao Hao said solemnly, Of course, the premise is that you will no longer commit rape in the future, and then this time, you need to do us a favor. Tong Yongfeng's eyes suddenly had the light of hope rising. But Fagan changed his mind when he heard it. Then he hurriedly said, Brother Zhao, what he said may not be true, let's report this news to the superior first. He could see that Zhao Hao's recklessness had come up and he seemed to be ready to take risks. But if Tong Yongfeng's news is true, and the other party has a lot of people, even though Zhao Hao is big and three thick, after all, his two fists are no match for four hands. So, Fegan's suggestion is to call for support. But Zhao Hao just stopped and said, Senior brother, time is not waiting for me, and our police station has limited police force at present. You also said that if this little yellow hair lied, wouldn't we just go all the way for nothing and waste our police power? Fagan hesitated. Zhao Hao said with a firm voice, Senior brother, our police station has a mission. Don't forget, there is not much time left for us, so we must race against time. Fagan's face was full of confusion, but, although he is eager to make contributions, his character is cautious and cautious. These uncertain things make him hesitant. Brother, Zhao Hao's attitude became tougher. Now is not the time for mother-in-law and mother-in-law, so, I promise you, once the criminal den is really found. And they are numerous and powerful, so I will definitely not be brave, and I will definitely wait for reinforcements to arrive. After hearing what Zhao Hao said, Fei Gan finally reluctantly agreed with Zhao Hao's statement after thinking it over and over again. Mainly, he could see that, even if he didn't agree, Zhao Hao probably wouldn't listen to him. There is nothing wrong with this big brother, but when he is strong, no one can stop him. Wasn't his master He Cheng Fu unable to stop him yesterday? Hey, working with this junior brother is really unpredictable. And Zhao Hao saw Fei Gan agree with him. So he immediately grinned at Tong Yongfeng, Xiao Wang Mao, then it depends on your performance. If you dare to lie to me, hum. Without too much nonsense, with a cold snort, Tong Yongfeng shuddered on the spot his legs softened and he almost knelt down again. In the end, Zhao Hao's hands were quick and his eyes were quick, and he grabbed his yellow hair and lifted it up, and then Tong Yongfeng stood up straight. Lead the way, don't play tricks. Zhao Hao pushed him lightly, of course, if you think you can escape, I can even let you run 39 meters first. Tong Yongfeng was really moved, but looked back at Zhao Hao. My mother-in-law, don't run, absolutely don't run. Tong Yongfeng said as if he was swearing by the sky, Brother police officer, since I have decided to commit the crime, I will definitely not run away. And I'm not stupid. If I get caught after this run, isn't that another charge of resisting arrest? Zhao Hao was almost amused by him. This little yellow hair. In fact, he is quite clever, but unfortunately he has embarked on a crooked path. But then again, if Huang Mao can take the blame and make a contribution this time, and it can indeed make them make a major discovery, and finally get what they want. Well, 
Zhao Hao really didn't plan to go back on his promise, and he will definitely report the whole thing to his superiors and try to give Xiao Wangmao a lenient treatment. Think about these. The three of them had their own thoughts, and no one spoke on the way, so they chose to move forward silently. Five minutes later, they arrived at Shuido Street and saw the alley that Tong Yongfang said. Senior brother, you meet me outside, I'm not wearing a police uniform, go and explore the way first. Zhao Hao suddenly stopped and stopped Fei Gan who was going to follow him. Fei Gan was stunned for a moment, then glanced at the police uniform on his body. It's really conspicuous, and it's easy to catch grass and startle snakes. So I acquiesced to Zhao Hao's suggestion, nodded and said, Then Zhao, you have to be careful, call for help immediately if there is a situation, safety is the most important thing. Zhao Hao nodded and said, Don't worry, brother, I have always been very cautious. Are you cautious? Fei Gan almost vomited blood. With your case handling style, you told me to be cautious. He opened his mouth, but in the end said nothing. And Zhao Hao didn't think so much, and then let Tong Yongfeng continue to lead the way. After a while, the two came to a house. Tong Yongfeng looked around, looking like a thief. After a while, no abnormality was found. So he lowered his voice and said, Brother police, this is the place. Zhao Hao glanced at his surroundings. The alley is deep and the terrain is complex, with multiple intersections. It can be seen that the criminals chose the den here after careful consideration. Once there is a situation, they can escape. In addition, at the door of the house that Tong Yongfeng mentioned, a surveillance camera can be seen from a distance. Zhao Hao also noticed that on the second floor of the house, there was a window with no curtains drawn, but the inside could not be seen from the outside. So, this may be a one-way glass window, and someone inside is always observing the movements outside. Not only that, Zhao Hao also found that at the intersection of one of the alleys, there was a man sitting there smoking a cigarette, and his eyes glanced around from time to time, looking vigilant. There is no doubt that this person must be in charge of the lookout. One is upstairs and one is downstairs. The inside and the outside should fit together perfectly. Therefore, it is simply unrealistic to want to quietly approach the house and break in. Zhao Hao has a headache. Fortunately, where he and Tong Yongfeng are located, they are in the dead end of residential surveillance. And because it has not officially approached the house, it has not been discovered by people looking out for the wind. It seems that there is no other way, I can only ask the headquarters for help. Zhao Hao considered again and again and finally made a decision. He looks big and three thick, and when he arrests criminals, he is also quite reckless in the eyes of others. But Zhao Hao knew very well that he dared to be reckless because he had a system that could accurately confirm the identity of the criminal. So in fact, he is actually a careful person. Otherwise, he would not have excelled in all aspects in the comprehensive examination results of the police academy. Zhao Hao was going to take Tong Yongfeng back to the original road. And at this time, Tong Yongfeng's task has been completed, so he is no longer needed. In order to prevent him from escaping, let Fagan handle it. Just as he was about to speak, Zhao Hao found that the man who was sitting looking at the wind suddenly got up and walked slowly in their direction. Tong Yongfeng immediately said with a timid expression on his face, Brother police. To shut up. Zhao Hao glared at him and said in a low voice, hide behind me and don't say anything. If the situation is not right, I will allow you to leave first, but you have to go to our police station and surrender yourself afterwards. Tong Yongfeng almost vomited blood, if I had a chance to run, can I go back to your police station and surrender? However, standing behind Zhao Hao, Tong Yongfeng looked up, because the distance was too close, he could only see the other side's generous shoulders. But for this alone, Tong Yongfeng solemnly said, Don't worry, eldest police officer, I will definitely cooperate with your work. Zhao Hao doesn't care whether he is sincere or fake. At this moment, he focused all his attention on a smart-looking young man who was about to come to the entrance of their alley. 20 meters, 10 meters, 8 meters, name, Chao Wei, 28 years old, a member of the human trafficking organization Wangfeng, has a criminal record. The moment the other party entered the range of Zhao Hao's identity recognition skills, his identity information was immediately displayed in Zhao Hao's mind. Chao Wei was arrogant, 
While whistling, he flicked the cigarette butt that was about to reach the butt of the cigarette, and flicked it with a handsome gesture. Just landed in a trash can. Then, he glanced at the entrance of the alley where Zhao Hao was, and after finding nothing unusual, he lifted his pants, and then unzipped. Huh, not right. Why is this alley dark in the daytime? Or, has it changed? Chao Wei looked up subconsciously. That's, a leg, right. Is it a human leg? Look further up. That's, a person, right. I am Nima. Hem, hem. In the next moment, he groaned, got a slap on the forehead, turned around three or four times, and then completely lost his combat effectiveness. At the same time, Chao Hui's mouth was also tightly covered by a big fan-like hand. Until he can't make a sound. And it was Zhao Hao who was waiting for him. Tong Yongfeng, who was hiding behind Zhao Hao, witnessed the whole process, and immediately started his trembling journey again. That slap is too Jill fierce. Tong Yongfeng couldn't help but be thankful that he had not escaped or resisted arrest before. Otherwise, thinking about the scene of being slapped by Zhao Hao with a slap on the body, I immediately shudder. At this moment, Zhao Hao directly grabbed Chao Hui's neck with one hand, and then said solemnly, blink your eyes if you can communicate well. If you can't, I will crush you directly. Chao Wei was still sane, but with the feeling of suffocation, he finally woke up a little. At this moment, being stared at by Zhao Hao's copper bell-like eyes, Chao Wei has long been frightened. So without any hesitation, I just blinked. And Zhao Hao, a master of art, was bold, not afraid of his tricks, and then threw him to the ground. Chao Hui's eyes flashed with gold stars, but he didn't dare to slack off, let alone scream. Not only that, but he also got up immediately and gave Zhao Hao a flattering smile. This eldest brother, which way do you mix? If it's convenient, please report your name. If you offend me, Chao Wei will definitely give you a satisfactory explanation. Zhao Hao's stature is too large, and the explosive muscle lines make Chao Wei unable to think of being his enemy at all. Which way am I? Zhao Hao twitched the corners of his mouth, then took out his ID card from his pocket. Okay, I'm on the right track. Mad, it turned out to be a sliver. Chao Wei was originally scared to pieces by Zhao Hao's physique and temperament, and when he saw the identity of the other party, he was even more frightened. Others don't know what his identity is, but he knows it himself. For a time, Chao Hui's eyes rolled around. It's a pity that although Zhao Hao didn't know what he was thinking, he was sure that this kid was not honest. So the backhand slapped again, knocking Chao Wei directly to the ground. Then Zhao Hao looked down at him condescendingly, and raised one leg, if I step down, I can turn you into a puddle of meat, do you believe it? Believe, must believe. Chao Wei was so frightened that his eyes almost popped out. Brother, you say, I'll say whatever you want to ask. At this moment, Chao Wei was in despair. He knew that he was doomed, and that being the case, of course, those who knew the current affairs were Junji, so as not to suffer more. If this foot comes down, will it still be alive? And relative to the crime he committed, maybe the final sentence will not be light, but it will not be sentenced to death, right? So, Chao Wei gave in. Don't dare to have any other messy thoughts in your mind. Then Zhao Hao began to ask him what was going on in the house, how many people were there, what weapons were there, and what did they do. And Chao Wei also explained everything in detail. Of course, there were some things he wanted to say in the process, but Zhao Hao saw the clues, so he was slapped a few times, and finally he was completely honest. When the question and answer session between the two was over, Chao Hui's face was almost swollen like a pig's head, and everyone was crying. If this scene is seen by people who don't know it, what will they think of? As for Tong Yongfeng, although this little yellow hair was not beaten, he was also frightened and pale. He huddled himself in the corner, and prayed that Zhao Hao would not rush under the crown and bring disaster to Qiyu. That's right, the current Zhao Hao is really furious. Because the information from Chao Hui's mouth is really outrageous. Inside the house is indeed a criminal den. Including him, Chao Wei, there are a total of 42 people. Among these people, most of them have blood on their hands, and some people who have not had blood have done something even more filthy than blood. Human traffickers and organizations force good families to sell milk tea, beat up people and arrange for begging. The most hateful thing is that they actually did the dirty work of buying and selling human organs, and they were performed by black doctors. 
Because of the poor conditions, and the methods of black doctors are quite simple and rude, people are often killed. But a dead person is as indifferent to them as a dead dog. Destroy the conscience. The more Zhao Hao listened, the more uncomfortable it became, and there was an anger in his chest that had nowhere to vent. If it wasn't for the overall situation, he really wanted to slap Chao Hui's head off. And feel his anger value soaring rapidly. Chao Wei and Tong Yongfeng were both silent. Big. Big big brother, there's something else. Chao Wei suddenly faltered and said, It's been almost five minutes since I left my post. If I don't return to my post within 10 minutes, and there is no news. The latter words are not said, but the meaning is self-evident. Zhao Hao frowned. After listening to the layout of the house, as well as the number of people, weapons, etc., he originally planned to escort Chao Wei and Tong Yongfeng to hand over to Fei Gan first. Then call headquarters for support. But for now, it doesn't seem like it's time for me. Once Chao Hui's loss of contact arouses the vigilance of other people in the house, then these demented people will do whatever they can to destroy the evidence of the crime and run away. And from Chao Hui's mouth, it is not difficult to know that there are innocent people and children inside. These people, once the criminals want to run away, will definitely not bring them with them as a burden. So the best way to deal with it is to kill and kill. All in all, dangerous. Zhao Hao's thoughts were spinning, and the whole person gradually became calm, and at the same time there was a touch of madness that others could hardly notice. But at this time, Chao Wei swallowed. Then he said with difficulty, Big, big brother, and, there is one more thing. Whoosh, he'll be in the air in the next second. Zhao Hao's eyes were full of anger, do you think this is fun? Chao Wei immediately used both hands and feet as if rowing a boat, but it didn't help at all, the whole person really felt the suffocation of death. But just when he thought he was doomed, Zhao Hao suddenly let go and let him fall to the ground. Say, you only have one last chance. Big brother, big brother, big brother, this is definitely the last thing, and it's what I just remembered. Really, I didn't lie to you. Chao Wei said in horror, it's the doctor. The doctor is going to take out a child's heart today. It is said that the buyer has already been contacted. And looking at the time, it should be almost ready now. Snapped. This time, Zhao Hao stunned Chao Wei. Of course, this is also Zhao Hao keeping his hand, otherwise, Chao Wei will probably be gone with this slap. Tong Yongfeng, on the other hand, held his head, curled up in the corner and shivered. It seemed that he could not even stop breathing, so as not to be noticed by Zhao Hao. But Zhao Hao turned to look at him. Tong Yongfeng immediately vowed, Brother police, I didn't see anything, I promise. Zhao Hao glared at him. Then he said sharply, Stop talking nonsense, take him to see my senior brother in a while, and repeat what this said just now to my senior brother, and ask him to ask the headquarters for help. Tong Yongfeng raised his head suddenly, Then, how about you? Zhao Hao snorted coldly, Me, I'm going to their mother. At the alley of Shuido Street, Fei Gan walked back and forth for several minutes. The more I think about it, the more it feels wrong. Junior brother cautious. No no no, terribly wrong. This little junior brother, since he joined the job yesterday, to the present, hearing his name almost made a cocoon in his ears. Which criminal he caught, didn't he just do it? That speed, so fast that no one else can react at all. Before that, some people said that his appearance and temperament were easy to startle, but what happened? He even shoveled the turf, and the snake has nowhere to hide. My mother, how long has the little brother been gone? Why hasn't it come out yet? Lighted a cigarette. Halfway through the inhalation, Fei Gan couldn't stand any more. He was going to find his junior brother. But, just as he was about to get up, he found that at the entrance of the alley, Xiao Wangmao was walking towards this side with a person on his back. Brother Zhao, Fei Gan's eyes suddenly turned red, and then he rushed over like crazy. Huang Maotong Yongfeng was stunned. PFF. He was carrying Chao Wei, who had passed out in a coma, and almost didn't wake him up. Fei Gan also came to a sudden stop. Asshole, dare to throw my little brother. Seeing that he was going to eat people, Tong Yongfeng said in panic, Comrade police officer, you, you, what's the matter with you? Fei Gan was about to speak, but his pupils shrank suddenly. Hey, not right. 
Fei Gan asked in a deep voice, he's not my junior brother, who is he? After Tong Yongfeng understood what Fei Gan meant, he almost vomited blood. I had prepared a thousand words. But at this moment, he couldn't help but complain. Comrade police, what's your junior brother like, don't you have any points in your heart? If I can carry his old man's back, even if I go to move bricks, I will make a fortune, how can I not be reduced to being a thief? Fagan was stunned. It seems to be the case. But when a policeman, how can he be looked down upon by a thief? Fei Gan's face darkened. Stop talking nonsense, hurry up, where is my junior brother? And speaking of Zhao Hao, Tong Yongfeng finally woke up like a dream. No, comrade police, hurry, 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 that big big police officer, let you ask the headquarters for help, as for him. Blah blah blah, Tong Yongfeng's memory in school was not as good as it is today. In this short period of time, he was stunned to report what Zhao Hao had instructed him to do, without any omissions. The more Fei Gan listened, the more shocked he became. Hearing the back, his eyes were already split. Zhao Hao, this cheap little apprentice, are you cautious? Be careful with your hammer. I knew it, I knew you were a fool. 41 people, all of them are extremely vicious people. It is not difficult to judge by listening to some of the things that Xiao Wangmao retells, and many of them are enough to be sentenced to death. Can these people play tricks with you? If you shout, police, don't move, will people take care of you? You don't even have a stick in your hand. What if you were as strong as the Hulk? As long as you are still a mortal body, then you are carrying a head on two shoulders. What are you, fighting with 41 people? Fool. Pure fool. Fei Gan was trembling with anger, and at the same time was so worried that he wanted to take his place, but he knew very well that the top priority was to report the situation here first. So I didn't dare to think about it anymore, and quickly took out the walkie-talkie. Command center, command center, I'm Constable 9364 Fagan, I'm Constable 9364 Fagan, please answer if you receive it, please answer if you receive it. Dot dot dot. At the same time, the door of the house in the alley. Zhao Hao walked out of the shadow of the alley and exposed himself to the vision of the alley. At the same time, this also means that Zhao Hao can also be seen by the person behind the one-way glass window on the second floor of the target building, and also appear in the other party's monitoring perspective. 41. Rao was Zhao Hao's body type, so he couldn't help but take a deep breath. At this time, he couldn't help but glance at his system panel, about his own data. Name, Zhao Hao. Age, 22 years old. Height, 2.3 meters. Weight, 198 kilogram. Strength, 21. Speed, 21. Temperament, 42. Skills, identification, primary, golden belt, primary. Twice the strength and speed of ordinary people, the temperament full of evil, and the two primary skills of identity recognition and golden bell jar. This is Zhao Hao's strength to bravely break into the den of thieves. Moreover, I just learned from that Chao Wei that this group of people has no guns in their hands. As long as you don't have a gun, you can try it with your own physique and a golden bell. He will definitely go, because he can't wait for the support from the headquarters, he is afraid that the black doctor in the house will start at any time and take out the child's heart. Don't wait for me, although thousands of people go to me. Figure out these. Zhao Hao took heavy steps and walked towards the house step by step. At this moment, on the second floor of the house, a burly man with a shirtless shirt was sitting at the window, smoking a cigarette comfortably while scanning the various intersections outside the house. Suddenly found the Chao Wei, who was ventilating below, seemed to have been walking for several minutes. Look at the time, it's almost 10 minutes. What? Haven't come back yet. Go big. But that's not the direction of the big one. The burly man frowned and was about to take out his mobile phone when he suddenly saw an unexpected guest at the door of the house. I drop mom. The burly man looked at Zhao Hao's body shape and temperament at the door of the house and then looked at himself subconsciously. What the hell? It turns out that the proud physique of Lao Su is also a stinky brother. Because of Zhao Hao's body shape and temperament, the burly man was stunned for a moment. And because of this moment of effort, Zhao Hao has already arrived at the gate of the house. Until this time, the burly man just woke up like a dream. Do something. 
The burly man immediately pressed the alarm. Suddenly, the whole house was full of alarms. Downstairs, there are a total of three rooms, one of which is a bedroom, and many people are lying on the bed to rest. The one in the middle is the chess and card room, where a group of people gather to gamble. The last room was pitch dark, the door was closed, and there were several women and children who were either kidnapped or deceived by them. As for the so-called infirmary, mentioned by Chao Wei, it is set up in the basement. Although the environment is simple, it is quite closed and has reached the level of being dust-free to the naked eye. But if it is really used for medical treatment, it simply cannot meet the standard. Therefore, no one knows how many lives have been caused in this residential house, but it has not been exposed so far. At this point, the alarm sounded. Everyone was stunned. There's, a Big Mac broke in, I don't know what's going on. In the living room, who was in charge of watching the surveillance screen, a middle-aged man with a shaggy beard got up and shouted loudly. Big Mac, someone broke in. After a while, everyone finally recovered, and at the same time heaved a sigh of relief. As long as it's not a policeman, it's fine. Since it's a Big Mac, let's see what kind of Big Mac this is that dares to break into our lair alone. Whoa. Immediately afterwards, everyone copied the guys individually, and then swarmed to gather. Boom. At the same time, there was a loud noise outside. Through monitoring, everyone can see that it is really a giant. This body type, I am afraid to catch up with the Hulk. In that fierce temperament, it is not easy to provoke at first glance. The other party said nothing, kicking the door of the house with one foot is not enough and then violently dismantling the next stainless steel door panel as a weapon. Then without hesitation, he carried half of the door panel and ran towards the house. Mad, who? Who provoked it? It's a very eventful autumn. The operation in the basement is about to start, why is there something wrong at this time? Could it be the police? Are you so stupid? Are the police like this? The police are so reckless that they broke in alone. No matter who he is, dare to break our door and engage him. These people in the house are also mostly vicious people. Although Zhao Hao has a strong physique and a frightening temperament, they are not vegetarians. Since the other party is calling, they have no reason to admit counsel. So, all of a sudden everyone is ready to move. Wait a minute, try not to do it if you can. A middle-aged man who looked gentle and refined spoke up. He didn't look fierce at all, but gave people a feeling of approachability. But as soon as he opened his mouth, everyone in the room was silent. Ni Jiancheng is the head of this criminal group. Usually, Shenlong sees the beginning but not the end. He is a teacher in front of people and a boss behind the scenes. Don't look at how gentle and elegant he is, he is actually more ruthless than everyone present. Moreover, he was ruthless and ruthless, and there were several lives through his hands. But it is worth mentioning that Ni Jiancheng has not left a criminal record so far, so there is no criminal record related to it in the national public security system. This shows how cunning and clever Ni Jiancheng is. Therefore, in Ni Jiancheng's view, this big man who is comparable to the Hulk who broke into their nest may be able to be used by him. In order to prove that the head of the group has style, and is a corporal. Therefore, Ni Jiancheng himself opened the door of the private house, and walked in the front, directly meeting Zhao Hao. This brother, you come to us, I think it's nothing more than seeking revenge, seeking money, etc. If you don't mind, we can talk. As soon as Ni Jiancheng opened his mouth, his refined temperament made him look quite gentle, not at all like a vicious person. He has thought about it, if the other party asks for money, then he will make a direct offer. If it is to seek revenge, it depends on the situation. If the matter is not big, he will come forward to reconcile, or even let himself suffer a little humiliation. It's like Li Shimin took Yushigong and drilled from the other's crotch once, and in the end, Yushigong couldn't work for him. With this one hand, Ni Jiancheng has already played the game very well. And this is also one of the reasons why more than 30 people present, including some brothers who were not present, were in awe of him. Unfortunately, he met Zhao Hao. There is a saying that a scholar meets a soldier, and it is not reasonable to say. Zhao Hao hadn't met them yet. With the identification skills, the personal information of these people was presented in his mind one after another. None are innocent. All criminals. 
Even the one with the least crime committed at least the crime of illegal detention, abduction and trafficking, and illegal assembly. Ni John Cheng. The first thing Zhao Hao saw was his personal information, which was really full of crimes and innumerable. A hundred lives are not enough for him to die. Talk. Talk about Irma. Clang. Clang. With two clangs, the two big men on the left and the right who were responsible for protecting Ni Jiancheng were directly knocked to the ground by the half stainless steel door that Zhao Hao swung up. Then, with a swish, before Ni Jiancheng didn't react, Zhao Hao grabbed his neck and lifted him up. All the criminals were stunned by the scene in front of them. In this situation, although Zhao Hao is alone, there is a great visual impact that he surrounds everyone by himself. Police, don't move, everyone puts down their weapons, and all squat down against the wall with their hands on their heads. Inside the residence, although Zhao Hao preemptively took out the criminal leader Ni Jiancheng, it did not mean that he had the upper hand. Because most of these people are extremely vicious people, at the juncture of life and death, who cares about the chief criminal? Either live together or die together. Now that Zhao Hao has revealed his identity as a police officer, it means that there is nothing to talk about. And, Zhao Hao has already said, talk about Irma, so let's talk about Jill. The criminals couldn't figure out why Zhao Hao, a policeman, broke into their lair alone. But what is certain is that since it was discovered by the police, and someone has already arrived first, it means that more police will definitely come in the future. So, Get this policeman, maybe things still have room to turn around. And so, a melee began. At the same time, the command center of the Huxi police station received Fei Gan's communication and learned about what happened in the current situation. Director Fu Xuelin's face was completely black at that time. He doesn't blame Zhao Hao for being reckless, because if things are as Fei Gan stated, then the situation on Shuido Street really can't wait for the police to make more arrangements. Therefore, what Fu Xuelin is really worried about is Zhao Hao's safety. Fu Xuelin has never encountered a hero like Zhao Hao since he was a police officer, so he doesn't want the country to lose such an excellent people's policeman. Therefore, Fu Xuelin did not hesitate too much. No time to lose your temper. Start shaking people right away. Criminal Police Brigade, Armed Police Brigade, Special Police Brigade. Fu Xuelin directly called the headquarters of the Municipal Public Security Bureau, and after briefly describing the general situation, he immediately asked for reinforcements. The Municipal Public Security Bureau also attaches great importance to this matter. In addition to this special campaign against human traffickers, the overall public security system in Zhangbei City is in operation, so the process of mobilizing personnel has also become quite smooth. Less than 10 minutes. With the assistance of the traffic control department, Zhongshan Road began to be cleared. The police on the road was loud, and various departments began to intervene in the case. The deputy director of the Municipal Public Security Bureau, Huang Chengxing, took the position in person, acted as the commander-in-chief of this operation, and rushed to the front line as soon as possible. It didn't take long for the streets and alleys to the southwest of Zhongshan Road to set up a network of 10 steps and one post, and 5 steps and one police officer. The state machine is in operation, it is not a joke. The residents nearby, under the dissuasion of the police officers, also closed their doors one after another, and cooperated with the police to complete the task of arranging the blockade. Fagan, what's the situation? When Fu Xuelin saw Fei Gan, he immediately brought a few policemen from the Huxi police station forward for questioning. He Chung Fu rushed forward, Fei Gan, my apprentice is partnering with you, but he went to charge, and you are outside here. Looking at his posture, he still wants to beat Fei Gan. However, he was quickly stopped by other police officers. Fei Gan did not move at all, his eyes were flushed, and he said with a dejected expression, it has been almost half an hour since the younger brother broke into the den of thieves. Director, I, junior brother said earlier that I was wearing a police uniform and wouldn't let me follow. A series of incidents happened later, and I was also responsible for taking care of these two people. I didn't expect it to become like this, I really didn't get scared. The voice fell. The two criminals, Tong Yongfeng and Chao Wei, were immediately brought into focus. Chao Wei was fine, he had already passed out. However, Tong Yongfeng's scalp was numb, and his legs were as if filled with lead, and it was difficult to move half a minute. 
I'm a thief. I stole a watch, and then brought them here in order to commit crimes. It's none of my business, it's really none of my business. Tong Yongfeng burst into tears. He swore that after this incident was over and he was transformed, he would never do anything illegal or criminal again. Today's battle is too scary for your mother. Heavily armed armed police, special police, as well as various police stations, police officers, criminal police, etc., including superior leaders. Is it necessary to bring up a criminal den like this? Tong Yongfeng did not know the strength of the city bureau's crackdown on this special operation. Not to mention, this criminal den has a high probability of finding the missing child of the municipal leader. Because, the whole city has been investigating for nearly a day and has cracked down on countless criminals, but no clues about leading the children have been found so far. Shuido Street is near Yiwei Elementary School, plus the nearby criminal dens, etc., are almost carried. The children of municipal leaders have still not been found. Then, the criminal den that Zhao Hao discovered naturally became the focus of the city bureau. Not to mention, their brother Zhao Hao is fighting with 41 vicious criminals, whose life and death are still unknown. So in any case, the superiors attach great importance to this action. Fu Xuelin didn't have time to hold him accountable at this time. After asking a little about the situation, he set off immediately, went to the front line, found Huang Chengxing, the supreme commander of the operation, and reported the situation to him. At this time, Huang Chengxing was commanding the team. He asked the special police, armed police and criminal police who arrived at the scene to be divided into multiple groups to surround the target buildings and houses. It is no exaggeration to say that at this time, a mosquito flew out of the house, which means they are not professional enough. After listening to Fu Xuelin's report, Huang Chengxing also had a solemn expression. Don't wait for me. When all the teams are ready and the news is reported to his commander-in-chief. Huang Chengxing made a decisive decision, and he was about to issue an order to let all the groups carry out a storm. However, at this time, most of the doors of the house were broken, and suddenly a tall figure slowly walked out. I saw that he was covered in blood, with palm-sized hands holding up a child. At the same time, a loud voice came out of his mouth and resounded around him, report to the commander-in-chief. All criminals have been subdued, and no one has escaped. Just as Zhao Hao appeared, he suddenly slammed and was surrounded by a group of people. The armed police and special police have all their guns loaded. People from other brother departments are also eyeing them. But then, when they heard Zhao Hao's loud voice in the report, everyone was stunned. Zhao Hao, Zhao Hao, the Huxi police station was all excited, and some people were already in tears. Fu Xuelin roared. Don't shoot, this is Zhao Hao, our brother from the police station, hurry up, everyone, get out of the way. However, he is not the commander-in-chief, so saying so, the major groups are still indifferent. Finally, Huang Chengxing, the supreme commander, came to his senses. He didn't blame Fu Shui and Lin Yu for acting on his behalf, but stopped immediately. Close the team, be alert. Huang Chengxing strode meteor from afar to approaching, Looking at the picture of blood all over his body and holding a child in his hand, he couldn't help his scalp go numb. Tears welled up. Little comrade Zhao Hao, great job. Huang Chengxing wanted to pat Zhao Hao on the shoulder, but it was out of reach, so there was nowhere to put his hanging hand. Finally, make a fist. Zhao Hao stood at attention, then grinned and said, Leader, don't worry about me, there are 41 criminals inside. In addition, there are six innocent women and four children. Their current mood is not very stable, but their lives are not in danger. This kid, Zhao Hao glanced at his hand, and the child who had already been put under general anesthesia and fell into a deep coma had a solemn expression on his face. In the house, he captured the thief first, the king, and took down the culprit, Ni Zhancheng, in one fell swoop. Later, although other criminals were not threatened by him, they still had to fight for their lives. However, it's a bit of a hoot after all. Because they dared to kill Zhao Hao, but they dared not call the guy to Ni Zhancheng. Then Zhao Hao saw this, and finally used the golden bell as a defense and half a stainless steel door as a weapon to kill. The door panel bangs. One board, one kid. Of the 41 criminals, none of them were in good condition. Although they did not die on the spot, most of them exhaled more and less. Especially the black doctor. 
Zhao Hao dealt with the others, and when he finally found the basement, he saw that the black doctor was about to use a scalpel on the child. It's too late, it's too soon. Zhao Hao threw half of the door, and the black doctor subconsciously stretched out his hand to block, but he'd paid the price of broken arms and vomiting blood. After Zhao Hao was still unhappy, he stepped forward and rewarded him with a few big pockets. The current black doctor is already unknown. But it is foreseeable that even if he survives, he will end up eating another peanut in the end. And from Ni Zhancheng's mouth, Zhao Hao learned an important piece of information. The children on the operating table were abducted from Yue Primary School. That is to say, if Zhao Hao arrives one minute later, or waits for support, then this child will most likely not see the sun tomorrow. Thrilling, bloody, Zhao Hao said with a heavy face, this child was kidnapped from Yiwei Primary School by them, and he is not out of danger yet. Huang Chengxing was shocked when he heard this. However, at this time, the medical staff of the team had already rushed over, so the child was quickly handed over to them. Huang Chengxing stretched out his hand again. Can't shoot. This little comrade is too tall. In the end, Zhao Hao felt the leader's concern, so he took the initiative to extend his free fan-like hand. I squeezed the leader's hand and shook it. I was very careful, for fear of breaking the leader's grip. Huang Chengxing said with relief. Okay, okay, our Zhongbei public security system has produced a peerless general. By the way, comrade Zhao Hao, how is your own injury? Without waiting for Zhao Hao to answer, he quickly greeted the medical staff. Quick, 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 come and see how our comrade is injured. Zhao Hao hurriedly stopped and said. Leader, I'm fine, don't look at me covered in blood, these are criminals, I have nothing to do. At this time, many high-level officials of the Huxi police station also came to their senses. Fu Shuilin, Yu Yuanzhong, He Chengfu and others didn't even care about other emotions, and immediately winked at Zhao Hao frantically. Nothing at all. No, you should be fine. Unfortunately, Zhao Hao didn't get it at all. In other words, even if he knew the intention of the other party, he would not take it to heart. Because Zhao Hao never wanted to get attention or even resources by selling miserably. Real man, it's over. So Zhao Hao also grinned and said to the others, Director, Instructor, Master, and brothers and sisters, thank you for your concern, I'm really fine. Done. He also flexed his arms to show off his muscles. Everyone was speechless. Okay. If you say it's okay, it's okay, just be happy. Fu Shuilin and the others glared at him angrily. Huang Chengxing also noticed this scene, and he didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This guy, Lao Fu, is not as good as Comrade Xiao Zhao. As for what Comrade Zhao Hao did today, can the superior not pay attention to it? At that time, his benefits can still be swallowed up by others. If he really wanted to do this, Huang Chengxing was the first to disagree. Huang Chengxing didn't tell the truth, and then he took the lead and led everyone into the house. This goes in. Everyone's eyes suddenly widened. That's amazing. Inside the house, headed by Ni Zhancheng, there were a total of 41 criminals. All of them were tied up by Zhao Hao and strung together into a human wall, and they all squatted in the corner and cried. And as Huang Chengxing and others came in, the criminals were also ready to cry about the police's violent law enforcement. As a result, Zhao Hao returned to the scene right after. All the mourning stopped abruptly, and the criminals were collectively silent. This man, if they are fortunate enough not to eat peanuts, it will definitely be the nightmare of their life. A person, single-handedly broke into their lair. The opening is half a door, and the process is all reckless. In front of Zhao Hao, they didn't have the strength to fight back at all. Occasionally, someone was lucky and took the guy to hit Zhao Hao. As a result, I almost gave myself an internal injury. So arrogant. They are a well-informed criminal organization, but it is the first time for everyone to meet someone as powerful as Zhao Hao. In particular, one of the criminals who chopped off Zhao Hao's thigh with a knife was still doubting his life. Because Zhao Hao didn't have anything to do, his knife was curled up, a big gap, which almost didn't scare his eyeballs out. All in all, when this group of criminals met Zhao Hao, it was a blood mold for eight lifetimes. Contrary to that, it was the six innocent women and four children. 
When Zhao Hao rescued them, everyone was trembling with fear at first, but when they saw that all the criminals were brought to justice. Zhao Hao's burly body looks so tall and mighty. His fierce temperament can be so heartwarming. Grateful. I can't wait to kowtow to Zhao Hao. But these ideas, which they had expressed before, were sternly rejected by Zhao Hao, and Zhao Hao also said affectionately that he was late for making them suffer. At this time, the brigade headed by Huang Chengxing, after interrogating some criminals and interrogating the victims, knew what happened in the house. Big guy, the look in Zhao Hao's eyes suddenly became awe-inspiring. In the end, Huang Chengxing took the lead in expressing his position, and with a very solemn look, he took the lead to salute Zhao Hao, and others followed suit. Huang Chengxing said solemnly, Comrade Zhao Hao, you are a role model for all of us, and it is worth all of us to learn from you. Zhao Hao was a little embarrassed. Grin. Then he became solemn, his body stood as straight as a Cheng Tianju, and his voice was loud, serve the people. A good one to serve the people. Huang Chengxing looked at Zhao Hao with more and more satisfaction. This young man, given time, will surely become a star policeman in Zhangbei city, and even the national public security system, and must be a nightmare for criminals in the world. After I go back, I have to summarize the report of this case and try to give this young man more credit. Thinking of this, Huang Chengxing did not move slowly, and he quickly got people to clean up the scene. Zhao Hao has completed the most important part of the task, so the next work is complicated, but he doesn't need his help. Soon. Zhao Hao was brought back to the Huxi police station by brothers from the Huxi police station in the way of taking the hero home. In the lounge, brothers and sisters bring tea and water to him after all kinds of busy work. Zhao Hao also readily accepted everyone's kindness. After thanking each other, he started the famous scene of drinking, oral liquid. Everyone was amazed, although, Zhao Hao is only on his second day. But in terms of the credit he has made in the past two days, it's an honor to work with him. After everyone praised him for a while, they knew that Zhao Hao was tired and needed to rest, so he quickly vacated the huge lounge and gave him to him. The director Fu Shuilin, the instructor Yu Yuanzhong, as well as the master He Chengfu, and the senior brother Fei Gan, etc., at this time, despite having a thousand words, they did not disturb him. However, the director Fu Shuilin still explained, Comrade Zhao Hao, the child is now out of danger because he was sent to the doctor in time. The other thing is that the municipal leaders have confirmed that it is the child who was missing and abducted. So if nothing else happens, the municipal leaders will personally come to our police station to guide the work in the afternoon, and I would like to thank you by the way. After saying this, Fu Shuilin took people away. For the municipal leaders to come to inspect the work and thank him, Zhao Hao neither expects nor refuses. Many friends, many ways. At this time, Zhao Hao's mind was already immersed in the system. He arrested a total of 43 criminals today, including Tong Yongfeng and Chao Wei. The level of criminals ranges from eating peanuts to petty theft. Therefore, the rewards given by the system are also uneven. Overall, strength, speed and temperament have all improved. The range of identity recognition has increased, and the experience value of the primary golden bell is about to reach its peak. It is estimated that it will not be long before it can break through to the intermediate level. The most important thing, after arresting the criminal Ni Zhancheng, Zhao Hao got a new skill rewarded by the system. Odor recognition skills upgradable, centered on the host, within a radius of 30 meters, the host can identify various odors, Focusing on one odor can be traced to a radius of 300 meters, and the odor retention time is 72 hours. Zhao Hao's eyes lit up, this is another magical skill that can be combined with his profession. Look at the personal panel in the system. Name, Zhao Hao. Age, 22 years old. Height, 2.3 meters. Weight, 198 kilogram. Strength, 23.5. Speed, 23.2. Temperament. 49. Skills. Identity recognition, within a radius of 15 meters, upgradable, golden bell, experience value 93 one hundredths primary, scent recognition, with a radius of 30 meters for group identification, and a radius of 300 meters for individual identification, upgradable. An arrest in Shuido Street, Zhao Hao has a wave of fat. Two days after joining the company, he has made extraordinary achievements many times, 
and I will not talk about the credit for the time being, because the superiors will definitely have to discuss all kinds of things. But in any case, two second class merits and a few third class merits should not be able to escape. As far as bonuses go, it's over 100,000. Zhao Hao couldn't help but smack his lips. He worked for two days and earned tens of thousands of dollars a day. Is this what it's like to be a policeman? Delicious. But then again, it is estimated that in the national public security system, it is difficult to find a few Zhao Hao, who have achieved achievements that others may not be able to achieve in their entire lives within two days of joining the job. Afternoon. The municipal leaders really came with their family members. The so-called guidance work was just a casual talk. Their real intention was to thank Zhao Hao. Comrade Zhao Hao, if you hadn't risked yourself, my child would definitely be gone. The leaders were teary-eyed, and the family members were equally grateful to Zhao Hao. When they first saw Zhao Hao, several people were shocked by his size and temperament, but after knowing that this was their benefactor, they were pleasant to the eye. The leader's daughter-in-law also had a short chat with his parents. Afterwards, he said something stupid. My sister's daughter, 20 years old this year, looks like a flower, and is now the sales manager of a foreign company. Zhao Hao's scalp is numb. Others couldn't help laughing. Later, the leader made a speech to tell his daughter-in-law not to talk nonsense, and then the atmosphere became harmonious. Zhao Hao and the leader exchanged contact information. The leader also made it clear that he could be approached in case of difficulties. As long as he was within the scope of his authority and did not violate the moral law, he would definitely try his best to help. When these words came down, they were immediately enviable. Zhao Hao didn't reject the leader's good intentions, but he didn't take it to heart, because he didn't think about reaching the sky in one step. Even if you want to climb up, you have to rely on yourself. There is system assistance, enough. So all in all, this conversation ended with a happy ending. The municipal leaders were very busy and stayed at the Huxi police station for more than half an hour, and then left in a hurry after receiving a call. Brother Zhao, Cao, it's a big bully. Two days after I joined the company, I made great achievements many times, and we all followed suit. Zhao Hao, why don't you drink tea? I have Biloachan from my hometown. Last time your master wanted to rub his face, but I didn't want to give it to him. I'll give it to you today. Old Wang, you are a real dog, Zhao Hao, don't be polite to him, take it all, and give me some later. As soon as the municipal leaders left, the police station was filled with joy. Zhao Hao seems to have become the focus, like the stars holding the moon, and while everyone talks about it, there are also people who greet him in various ways. Master He Chengfu is sour. The director Fu Shuilin and the instructor Yu Yuanzhong also smiled when they saw such a scene, and then left consciously, leaving the space for them. He Chengfu saw that both the director and the instructor had left. So he said, Zhao Hao, although the special action against human traffickers arranged by the superior is for a month. But for now, because of the abduction of a leading child in Ar Yiwei Primary School, several fraternal departments have joined hands to help. So, in the area under the jurisdiction of Ar Huxi Police Station, the relevant human traffickers have basically been swept away, and we should not focus on this aspect in the near future. The crowd nodded. Zhao Hao grinned and said, Master, you have a task to arrange, and I am responsible for obeying the command. Yes, the boy is very good. And not arrogant. He Cheng Fu, the chief master, was very pleased. Originally, I took Zhao Hao for a day yesterday, and I also took a lot of credit, but because of his self-confidence, he was not assigned to a group with Zhao Hao today. He was quite happy. As a result, Zhao Hao turned his head and took Fei Gan to catch a thief, and then took down a criminal den. This is what he envies, and Gil Dushi is even more. Sorry for the first time. This honor should have his share as a master. At the same time, He Cheng Fu also realized that his chief apprentice had an unparalleled talent in catching criminals. Whether it's petty theft, traffickers, or even more vicious people, he's sure to catch them all. And, unstoppable. Person number 41 is no match for him. Such Zhao Hao, if he takes him with him, wouldn't it be as easy to make merit as drinking water and eating? He Cheng Fu thought about this. So he smiled and said, Zhao Hao, because of this special operation, we should be safe for a long time in the area under the jurisdiction of the police station. 
So, as a master, I can't just take credit for you. Of course, I have to familiarize you with the daily work of our institute. Well, in the afternoon, you can go to the streets with me. I won't tell you from a distance. I'll show you the Dinglong Street first. Hearing the words, the others rolled their eyes. Good guy, you are a master, just fooling your apprentice like this. However, Zhao Hao himself has no opinion. He became a policeman to fight against evil and evil. He was here to do business. So he grinned and said, Okay, I'll follow the master's arrangement, it's not too late, let's go now. After 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Zhao Hao and He Chung Fu simply cleaned up and were about to go out for patrol, but at this moment, a senior sister stopped him. It turns out that the police uniform is ready. According to the senior sister, the police uniform was expedited and tailored for Zhao Hao. As for why, He Chung Fu smiled and said, you have made so many credits, and the director dare not give you other benefits, but the benefits within the scope of authority will definitely allow you to respond to your needs. A fierce general like Zhao Hao can shine in any police station, how could Fu Shuelin be mean to him? In this regard, Zhao Hao smiled and said nothing. However, in my heart, I remember this kindness. Not long after, Zhao Hao changed into a police uniform. Second cop. Of course, this is only temporary, because Zhao Hao has only been employed for two days, so this is the police rank registered for him. But based on the credit he has made in the past two days, promotion and salary increase is only a matter of time, just wait for the above to count his credit. Look at yourself in the mirror. Zhao Hao couldn't help baring his teeth. Mighty, fierce. In fact, if you look closely, Zhao Hao is not ugly, even a little handsome, mainly because of his fierce temperament and his size, so he looks full of evil. Now he is wearing a police uniform, and his fierce temperament is mixed with an indescribable majesty, which is really majestic. Just like him, if you stand in front of the criminal, it is estimated that the murderous gangsters will have to fight. So when Zhao Hao walked out of the locker room, he immediately became a scene of Huxi police station. Mighty, domineering. It's a big bully. The brothers and sisters are full of light, both amazement and indescribable awe. He Chung Fu was stunned when he saw it, and couldn't help swallowing. The two behind them walked on Dinglong Street, and they turned heads even more. More attractive than beauty, He Chung Fu said in admiration, Zhao Hao, it is reasonable to say that your image is indeed easy to startle. I said that yesterday, and it is not alarmist. But if you are lucky, it may be God's reward for food. Those criminals and thieves are like headless flies, and they are bumping on you. Zhao Hao nodded like smashing garlic. Ah yes yes yes, master you are right. In my heart, it didn't matter at all. At this time, Zhao Hao has turned on his scent recognition skills in order to test his new skills. For a while, Zhao Hao had a magical feeling, as if there were many things like smoke in his perspective. The strands were easily identified by him. Leak smell, sweat smell, smoke smell and so on. He could even smell the smell of the water in the puddle, and the ammonia with a concentration as low as one part in 100,000. All in all, within a radius of 30 meters. Zhao Hao smells hundreds or thousands of scents, but he doesn't get confused by it. On the contrary, he not only does not have a confused sense of smell, but can also accurately identify the source of these smells. And know what they belong to. Just like at this moment, the smell of chives, the smell of sweat and the smell of smoke coming from a close distance. Needless to say, it is naturally the body of the cheap master He Chung Fu. Plus, Zhao Hao pinpoints a certain scent. For example, the taste of a vegetable, soon, his sense of smell will stretch out, beyond the range of 30 meters, directly to the vegetable market. But after that, I couldn't smell it anymore, because it was beyond the range of 300 meters. But as long as Zhao Hao moves forward, he can continue to track this scent and will not be confused by other scents. A little beef. Zhao Hao took a deep breath. However, He Cheng Fu said angrily, What are you doing? Say something to you that you are nervous. Hey, Zhao Hao, don't think too much. I think when I first joined the job, the work I did the most was serving tea and pouring water, and then dealing with neighbor disputes and short-term parents. You are already very good. You have only made a few outstanding achievements in the past two days. The absolute future can be expected. There is no doubt that the talkative master, Zhao Hao came back to his senses. 
He couldn't help but rubbed his nose angrily and said, Master, I'm not nervous. In fact, it's not just luck that I caught those criminals, I have the ability. He Chung Fu hummed and said, We didn't say that you are incompetent. What I mean is, you can't be too hasty, and you can't be proud of your performance in the past two days. Whether we are catching criminals or dealing with neighbor disputes, we all pay attention to a step-by-step -step process. Our area has been cleaned up in the past two days, and the crime rate should plummet. If you don't gain anything in the next period of time, don't be discouraged. Because, this is the normal scene, it's our patrol police. Zhao Hao frowned suddenly. He interrupted He Cheng Fu and said, Master, let's talk about this topic later, you wait for me here for a while, I'll catch a thief first, go and come back. He Cheng Fu was interrupted halfway through his words. Almost got my nose crooked. In the end, after listening to Zhao Hao's words, I was even more angry. How? Didn't slap me in the face yesterday enough? Are you still here today? To catch a thief? Where are you going to catch a thief? Hey, brat, I'm not happy to say a few words to you. He Cheng Fu was about to speak again. But at this time, Zhao Hao had already run out, and the speed was so fast that he was stunned. The point is, less than two minutes. He Cheng Fu hasn't recovered yet, Zhao Hao just like carrying a chicken, he brought back a guy. He Cheng Fu couldn't understand Zhao Hao's operation at all. After a while, I caught a young man, are you sure he is a thief? Play 2. He Cheng Fu's face sank and said, Zhao Hao, you don't have to prove your ability in this way, because your performance in the past two days has been shocking enough. I just said a few words to you, and I didn't teach you a lesson, I just... Talking, He Cheng Fu seemed to think of something. After all, he stopped and said, Hurry up, you let them go first. We are policemen, not bandits, and we don't want to do this kind of thing that is framed in blame. After talking about Zhao Hao, He Cheng Fu said to the boy who was being carried away by Zhao Hao, Young man, don't be nervous, hey, don't cry. My apprentice just joined the job, and I still don't understand some rules. I'm sorry, I will definitely educate me when I look back. Zhao Hao is speechless, seeing He Cheng Fu is still chattering. I can't stand it. I didn't even bother to explain, so I just took off the guy's coat. Whoa. Four or five mobile phones, several packs of cigarettes and lighters, and two watches were shaken to the ground by him. Zhao Hao ignored He Cheng Fu who was dumbfounded. Instead, he stared at the young man with a gleam in his eyes. Are you recruiting yourself, or shall I take you back to the police station for a slow interrogation? The boy is crying like a man in tears at the moment. He had a lot of harvest today. As soon as he came out of a medium-sized shopping mall, he was going to find a place to sell the stolen goods, and then spend a few days drinking and drinking. In the end, before he was happy for a while, he bumped into Zhao Hao at the corner. I drop mom. Then, he was picked up and slipped away. At the beginning, the guy was so scared that his courage was almost broken, and when he saw Zhao Hao's police uniform later, he almost fainted on the spot. But Zhao Hao didn't say anything, just carried him and ran. The young man was like a boat, his head was buzzing, but no matter what he said, Zhao Hao ignored it, and finally made him cry. I recruit, I recruit. After the boy regained his freedom, he did not dare to run. Slipped directly behind He Cheng Fu, and then like a wronged little girl, tightly grasped the corner of He Cheng Fu's clothes. I'm a thief, police uncle, take me away, but I only have one request. Don't let this big brother take me back, Wu Wu. Almost scared to pee, and He Cheng Fu's scalp is numb. Because the thief was afraid of another policeman, he found his own policeman as a protective umbrella. For this reason, he did not hesitate to explain all the crimes, just to get into prison and reform faster. No, is this guy really a thief? He Cheng Fu felt that his brain was not enough. Zhao Hao walked with him, the two talked about this, and then he suddenly ran over and brought back a thief. All the stolen goods were taken, and the thief himself admitted it. The point is, how did Zhao Hao do it? He Cheng Fu murmured, Zhao Hao, you have to give me an explanation for this matter, or I won't know how to write a report when I go back. If you catch the places we patrolled before, then I can barely understand. But we haven't even gone to the shopping mall in front of you, so you don't know what a thief is there. The point is, there is still a corner, you can see the thief through the wall. 
It's just outrageous, open the door to outrageous, outrageous home. And since Zhao Hao dared to do this, of course, he had already prepared a speech. He grinned, Master, I said it just now, this is my ability, and I explained it to you when I caught the bus thief yesterday. I have a natural insight into criminals and can judge them by their expressions, movements and eyes. The other is my other talent, so what? I have a smarter nose. Zhao Hao's previous explanation, although he Cheng Fu was stunned, could not convince him. And after listening to what Zhao Hao said, he was even more confused. Do you have a nose? Can you have a dog spirit in your nose? But he didn't wait for him to ask. Zhao Hao said with a serious face, I can smell all kinds of smells nearby, and most of them can be distinguished. For example, master, you should have eaten four kinds of vegetables today, leeks, chicken, winter melon and eggplant, touched a dog, and then physically touched a total of eight people. He Cheng Fu's face was full of question marks. He suspected that he was being followed by Zhao Hao. He couldn't remember how many people he had physical contact with, but Zhao Hao said it right for all the dishes he had for lunch. And the dog at home, who did rub its head before going out. He Cheng Fu was dumbfounded. However, Zhao Hao looked at the guy behind him again. Then he hummed, this kid has more than 70 kinds of smells, more than a dozen different people's smells, more than 20 kinds of electronic products, and Zhao Hao said a lot, and based on the smell on the guy's body, he inferred where he had been. Shopping malls, vegetable stalls, barber shops and more. Zhao Hao stopped at the end, and did not describe too much. But as an experienced film police officer, he Cheng Fu understood what he meant. A person has more than 70 kinds of odors on his body, and he is nearly 10 times more than a police officer who has dealt with criminals all year round. What does that mean? Means this person is not normal. Even if he is not a thief, there must be other problems. By observing his expressions, movements and eyes, we can confirm that he is a criminal, there is nothing wrong with him. Looking at the guy behind him, his eyes widened with a ghostly expression. Obviously, Zhao Hao is right. He Cheng Fu's face was suddenly full of surprise. Zhao Hao, he has this ability. Thinking of what Zhao Hao has done since he joined the company for the past two days, He Cheng Fu feels that it is really possible. But, He Cheng Fu said, I still can't believe it, unless. Zhao Hao interrupted him directly, unless I prove it to you. That's easy to do, master, please take a look, but don't blink. The voice fell. Zhao Hao suddenly burst into flames, and then he picked up a man and a woman from the crowd who were watching Melon eating. When Zhao Hao came over with the boy before, the pedestrians on the road were shocked. One by one was shocked by his size and temperament. But after seeing him in a police uniform, everyone calmed down a little bit. After all, in Longguo, the police and the people are family. So far away, someone followed to watch the fun. When Zhao Hao and He Cheng Fu reunited, they watched from a distance, whispered to the people around them, and pointed at them from time to time. Later, I saw the arrested guy, and when Zhao Hao found several mobile phones, watches and other items from him, he suddenly realized. It was a thief. So the big guy watched it with more gusto. But the crowd didn't expect that Zhao Hao and He Cheng Fu were talking and suddenly rushed towards them. Scare. When everyone reacted, they were about to disperse. But they are faster, Zhao Hao is faster. And after he rushed over, without saying a word, he picked up a man and a woman from the crowd. That appearance was as light as catching a chicken. What to do? You're going to be arrested for watching the fun. It doesn't make sense. The police beat someone. Don't catch me, can't I just watch it? The crowd was shocked. The cowardly had long since fled. But the braver, after running a few steps, saw that Zhao Hao only grabbed two of them and stopped and it seemed that he had no intention of grabbing them. So, I started to stop and watch from afar. He Cheng Fu people are stupid. Real or fake? Are you kidding me? Every time I arrest someone, my heart skips a beat. What the hell is going on with this stinky boy? Our area has caught so many criminals in the past two days. It stands to reason that the criminals should be afraid of the wind and either move their positions or hide and become a tortoise. Zhao Hao, why did he catch three when he went out? It doesn't matter if the person beside him is a thief, what the hell is this onlooker who also caught two? Don't tell me, this is a thief too. And in fact. Name, 
Shang Yuanzun, 32 years old, professional thief, has two criminal records, and is currently a fugitive. Name, Lu Shuarong, 30 years old, professional thief, has a criminal record. Two thieves, one man and one woman. This was not discovered by Zhao Hao through smell recognition, but they entered the scope of Zhao Hao's identification skills, so they were seen on the spot. And like the guy before, Zhao Hao didn't catch people just by smell. First of all, the complexity of the smell on the other party caught his attention, and then the identity of the other party was confirmed through identification, so he dared to make a bold move. All in all, Zhao Hao's arresting method looks reckless, but in fact, he has the evidence to make sure that the other party can arrest him, and then he will do it. Zhao Hao, he Chung Fu has begun to doubt life. He no longer scolds like before, because it turns out that every time the result ends with a hot face on his face. Zhao Hao seems reckless, but he catches all criminals. No one was wrong. So, are these two really thieves? He Chung Fu was at a loss. Zhao Hao seemed to know what he was thinking. So he nodded to him. Then he looked at the two trembling thieves. Zhao Hao said solemnly, Shang Yuanzun, the French Open is full of omissions, you don't think that you have a chance to escape this time, right? Originally, the two were still lucky. But when Shang Yuanzun heard it, Zhao Hao even knew his name, so he was lucky. Besides, even if he was given a chance now, would he dare to run? The big policeman in front of him, don't look at him big and three thick, he looks very cumbersome. But it has been verified just now that Zhao Hao's speed is not slow at all, anyway, much faster than his thief. Let him run 39 meters first. I, I'm not running. Shang Yuanzun lowered his head and said dejectedly, I'm tired of running too, wronger, we've been hiding in Tibet all day, and in fact, we've been waiting for this day to come. Don't run away, don't run away, go in and transform it out, let's find a businessman in the future, and then, let's get married. As soon as this word comes out, the female thief Lu Shuarong burst into tears. It doesn't matter if you are recognized, I still want to make a quibble about it. They say catch the thief and catch the stolen goods. I have no stolen goods on me. How can this big man take me? Still married. After you come out, go for a bachelor. Lu Shuarong burst into tears. Shang Yuanzun thought she was moved by him. So he said to Zhao Hao sincerely. Comrade police, we admit it, we will do anything. He Chung Fu was completely dumbfounded. Lu Shuarong cried even more fiercely. However, she soon stopped crying because others regarded Zhao Hao as a reckless man, but Zhao Hao would not really consider himself a reckless man. Since he dared to catch Lu Shuarong, of course there was evidence. So, Zhao Hao walked away again. The passers-by who were still talking a lot in the distance, originally came to see the fun and enjoyed it, but because they couldn't hear Zhao Hao and the others, they could only guess by looking at the pictures. Suddenly look, the big cop is here again. Mom, do you really want to be arrested for watching the fun? Help, this time, the people watching the lively are really scattered. The daring dare not stay. No one is afraid of being picked up by Zhao Hao like a chicken. Zhao Hao is also stunned. What happened to me? Run away when you see me. Do I still look so brutal in a police uniform? Unreasonable. I was too lazy to pay attention to them, walked to one of the trash cans, and took out a bag inside. Evidence of Lu Shuarong's theft. Through smell recognition, he found it by searching for the smell. The iron evidence is like a mountain, and Lu Shuarong collapsed to the ground on the spot, her face like ashes. Three thieves. Two of them were stolen, and the other, Shang Yuanzun, was on the run, and in order to reduce his guilt, he took the initiative to take out the stolen goods from his body. Two phones and a wallet. But in Shang Yuanzun's words, the wallet was stolen while watching the fun just now. Except for some documents and bank cards, there was not a dime in it. At the same time, the crowd of onlookers who were originally scattered by birds and beasts had all run away but they saw that Zhao Hao was not chasing them, so they dared to return to the scene. Then, when I learned the truth, I suddenly realized. It turns out that all three are thieves. The comrades of the police are awesome, and the big police officers are awesome. Sharp. The police at Arhuxi police station are great, give you a thumbs up. I wipe, my wallet. So that wallet without money is yours. Ah this. The crowd was talking. Everyone looked at Zhao Hao with respect, and they would never be as frightened as before. 
and the owner of the scene was shocked and angry when he saw his lost property. But with Zhao Hao around, of course they didn't dare to mess around, what would they do to other thieves? At this time, he Cheng Fu was already too numb, and at this time he finally came back to his senses. If Zhao Hao caught the first guy, it was luck. He caught two thieves in the onlookers, and barely counted him by chance, because one of them was on the run. Then, Zhao Hao's behavior of finding the stolen goods that Lu Shuarong hid on the spot really shocked He Cheng Fu's soul. This kid is going to fly. The sense of smell is so unbelievable. No wonder. No wonder he was only able to do so many earth-shattering events on the second day of his entry, which shocked the public security system in Zhangbei. This guy is off the hook. What a big bull. He Cheng Fu thought that after these two days of cleaning, the site within the jurisdiction of the Huxi police station should be cleaned for a long time. So he brought Zhao Hao out today to cultivate the relationship between master and apprentice, hoping to hold this cheap apprentice's thigh and take some credit in the future. I never thought that I could follow along today. As a result, Zhao Hao gave him such a big surprise. My mother-in-law, as far as Zhao Hao's ability is concerned, isn't he holding a prize-making machine to partner with him? For Zhao Hao's ability, He Cheng Fu did not doubt anything else. After all, Zhao Hao is naturally gifted. If nothing else, his body shape and temperament were something He Cheng Fu had never seen before, so his keen sense of smell did not seem strange. As everyone knows, Zhao Hao dared to disclose this, and after a little modification of some vocabulary, it is considered to be the odor recognition skill of the clipboard. No way, the system must not be made public, but his ability to catch thieves is too strong, and if there is no reasonable explanation, it will easily arouse suspicion from others. Zhao Hao is also a little helpless. It is only natural for the police to catch the thief, but he has to find a reasonable explanation for himself. He grinned and said, Master, do you believe it now? He Cheng Fu gave him a complicated look. I believe it. Can you believe it? If I don't believe it, do you have to catch ten or eight thieves for your teacher on the spot? Not enough handcuffs. He Cheng Fu said with a headache, I believe it, I really believe in your evil. Then what? Ask for support, we don't have enough handcuffs. Zhao Hao curled his lips and said, No, just send them back like this. If you don't believe me, ask them, who dares to escape? Whoever has the courage, I will let him run for ten minutes first. The voice fell. Shang Yuanzun and the other three thieves suddenly shook their heads like a rattle. He Cheng Fu was speechless. This cheap apprentice of my own is really the nemesis of evil. And thinking of the evil nemesis, He Cheng Fu seems to have thought of something else. His eyes lit up immediately. The look in Zhao Hao's eyes also became eager. This made Zhao Hao a little creepy. With a wary look on his face, he said, Master. Master, can you look serious? Who knows? The next second, He Cheng Fu rushed towards him, and then, he wanted to hold Zhao Hao's hand for a long talk, but he hugged his thigh instead. But He Cheng Fu didn't care at all. Because he originally thought of the idea of hugging his thighs, it doesn't matter if he deserves his name. At this time, he is excited like a 300-pound child. He Cheng Fu said excitedly, Zhao Hao, can't you catch a thief? Let's walk around, I'll take you to a place, I'm sure you'll have enough addiction to catch a thief today. Of course, the premise is that you really have that strength. Zhao Hao originally disliked his chief master and wanted to push him away, but when he heard that a thief was caught, his eyes lit up. Exactly at this time, system rewards are credited to the account. The three thieves gave all the experience points of the golden bell, a total of 12 points, which directly made his golden bell break through the primary level and became an intermediate golden bell. Zhao Hao has a feeling that the middle level golden bell should be able to completely resist ordinary swords and sticks. The so-called complete defense. That is to say, he was able to resist the sword and stick with the primary golden bell hood before, which was based on his strong physique. And the middle level golden bell can let him open his body and mind, and can resist the damage of the knife and stick without using any physical strength. Delicious. Strong police system, catch thieves and become stronger. I love work and work makes me happy. Zhao Hao immediately looked at He Cheng Fu eagerly and said, Master, I became a policeman to catch thieves. If you really have such a good place, then let's go there now. Guoxing bus station. He Cheng Fu took the lead and led Zhao Hao to this place. 
The key point is that they were followed by Shang Yuanzun and other three thieves. However, all three were not handcuffed. However, all three of them followed obediently, and there was no one who wanted to escape without a long eye, and they followed closely, as if they were afraid of falling behind. Such a harmonious relationship between police and thieves, if the outside world is known, will definitely cause an uproar. But this scene is so real. If you want to talk about where the most thieves are, the first choice is of course the train station, but it's too far there. It takes us an hour to go back and forth, which is inconvenient. He Cheng Fu said eloquently, the second choice is the bus station. These two places are the most frequent areas for thieves. According to He Cheng Fu, thieves who can mix in these two places must have extraordinary means, and one is more shrewd than the other. Because they are not shrewd, they are basically in prison. In today's society, the law and order are strict and there are too many surveillances, so thieves who can survive in such an environment are extraordinary existences in the past. Among them, the train station and bus station are the most. Zhao Hao has a keen sense of smell, and is alert and alert. The combination of the two, coupled with his size and temperament, makes catching thieves difficult. Therefore, combining the advantages of Zhao Hao, he Cheng Fu chose Guoxing bus station and let Zhao Hao try his best. Whether it is a mule or a horse, we must see the difference. And if all of this is true, if Zhao Hao can really show off his skills here and capture a group of thieves, it will be of great significance. Merit, bonus, essential. The point is that such an ability as Zhao Hao can play a considerable role in their Huxi police station and in the country's eradication of evil. The real future is endless. Therefore, he Cheng Fu is quite looking forward to it. Zhao Hao wondered, Master, as far as I know, the area of Guoxing bus station should not belong to the jurisdiction of our Huxi police station, right? He Cheng Fu spread his hands and said, It doesn't matter, do we police thieves by region? As long as you can catch thieves, let alone trans-regional, what about transnationality? This is a bit too much. But He Cheng Fu's meaning has been conveyed, and Zhao Hao understands it. No matter the cat is black or white, the cat that can catch the mouse is a good cat. And the master said so, of course Zhao Hao did as the locals do. Since he said there is no problem, then there must be no problem. So put away the mind. Then he looked back at the three thieves, you three keep up, if anyone gets lost, I'll catch him as a fugitive. Holy crap, you still have this. Please, send us to the police station now. The three of Shang Yuanzun were about to cry. But when Zhao Hao spoke, they didn't dare to let one fart, so they quickly followed in the footsteps, wishing they could stick themselves on Zhao Hao's back. July day, unbearably hot. The flow of people at Guoxing bus station is quite large, and now it is summer vacation, so the bus station is even more crowded. The arrival of Zhao Hao and He Cheng Fu, both of them in police uniforms, are naturally eye-catching. The first people who were attracted by them were the policemen in charge of patrolling the bus station at the Hedong police station. Yu Yingwei, a first-level superintendent, has the same rank as He Cheng Fu. And he also brought a partner. Xie Zijang, similar to Zhao Hao, is a newcomer who has just joined the company. Seeing He Cheng Fu and Zhao Hao, Yu Yingwei obviously knew He Cheng Fu, so he came over to say hello, old He. What's the situation? After he finished speaking, he glanced at Zhao Hao again. Ouch, my mother. Old he. Who is this? Although Zhao Hao single-handedly set up a criminal den in the morning, the news has not yet spread, or the number of people who have seen him is limited. And Yu Yingwei had obviously never seen him, so when he saw Zhao Hao, if it wasn't for him in a police uniform, he Cheng Fu would be by his side. Uncertain, Yu Yingwei is about to take out his documents to check his household registration. Beside him, Xie Zijang also looked at them curiously, his eyes first glanced at He Cheng Fu, then at Zhao Hao. Good Gilgo. Good Jill Fierce. I drop my mother-in-law. Yu Yingwei and Xie Zijang both swallowed. He Cheng Fu laughed at this moment and said, Lao Yu, this is my apprentice Zhao Hao. I came here today for no other reason than to help you relieve some pressure. After speaking, he turned his head and introduced Yu Yingwei to Zhao Hao. Zhao Hao immediately stretched out his hand and said, Officer Yu, hello, I'm Zhao Hao, a police officer from the Huxi police station. I just joined the job yesterday. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yu Yingwei looked at his big fan-like hand, 
swallowed again, and then carefully stretched out his hand. After introducing each other, Zhao Hao and Yu Zijiang also shook hands. Then, learning about He Chengfu and Zhao Hao's intentions, Yu Yingwei was stunned. He was even more surprised when he learned that there were three thieves behind them. Old He, are you serious? Yu Yingwei said in disbelief. Yu Huxi Police Station, the annual assessment is in the middle and lower reaches, when did you become so arrogant? Yu Yingwei was really stunned. Due to geographical reasons, their Hedong Police Station occupied a lot of convenience and attracted more elites from the police academy. Because the jurisdiction is prosperous, although the pressure and tasks are heavy, the benefits, etc., must be slightly higher. And prosperity means more attraction to criminals. Therefore, in the annual assessment of the Hedong Police Station, the results are ranked in the middle and upper positions, far from the middle and lower reaches of the Huxi Police Station. In the end, He Chengfu actually said that they were here to relieve him of the pressure. With three thieves, and a, police elite, who has just been hired for two days. Are you kidding me? It's only been two days since I joined the job. Is this the elite of the police? What's wrong with Lao He today, isn't it because of the heavy task recently, and his brain has been burned out by the hot weather? And also, Old He actually said that this big man who had just joined the company for two days had a very strong ability to catch thieves, and that he caught these three thieves easily. Did you catch it? Uncle, does Lao He not bring drafts when bragging now? Just this big guy, wearing that police uniform and walking down the street with a pestle, which thief without long eyes dares to dangle in front of him. It slips away when you see it from a distance, okay. Can he be caught? What a stupid thief. Looking at the three of Shang Yuanzun, Yu Yingwei didn't think they were three stupid thieves. So, it was Lao He who caught three thieves himself, then gave the credit to his apprentice, and came over to play a wave in front of me. Sigh. Pediatrics. Yu Yingwei said angrily, Old He, we don't want to deceive ourselves. I can understand that you are good to your apprentice. But if you show it off to me, that's your fault. Let me tell you, this apprentice of mine is the only one who has real skills, just this morning. Not finished yet. Zhao Hao, who was obviously laughing but gave off a vicious feeling, suddenly rushed out. Yu Yingwei was stunned. What's wrong? Can't afford to play. My mother, if this really has to be done. Yu Yingwei looked at himself looked at his apprentice Xie Zijiang, and looked at Zhao Hao's body shape and temperament. If I do, I'll call the police. Yu Yingwei was also taken aback by Zhao Hao's actions. Even though he was a policeman, he wanted to call the police first. Resolutely do not fight with Zhao Hao. It's too late, it's too soon. Just as Yu Yingwei's thoughts fell, and Xie Zijiang's face turned pale, Zhao Hao ran directly from Yu Yingwei's side like a gust of wind. Didn't it come to me? Yu Yingwei looked dazed. Xie Zijiang kept breathing heavily. He Chengfu and Shang Yuanzun had a hunch what Zhao Hao was going to do, but they were all staring at Zhao Hao at this time, and they didn't want to explain to Yu Yingwei at all. Ah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you arresting me? The police. The police can arrest people at will. In a short while, at the exit of the bus station, there was such a sound of ghost crying and wolf howling. I saw a young man who had already been picked up by Zhao Hao at this time. His hands and feet were all hanging in the air, and his whole body was moving like a paddling water, but it was of no avail, and he couldn't escape Zhao Hao's palm at all. But when he shouted, the crowd around him became commotion. Stop! Yu Yingwei reacted and was instantly furious. This is the jurisdiction of the Hedong Police Station. You are a police officer from the Huxi Police Station. I welcome you to stop by. I understand even if you come to handle a case. Even, I can actively cooperate with your work. But you, a police officer, come to our jurisdiction to cause trouble and hurt ordinary people, then I can't bear it. How about being big? If you are big, you can be invincible. Absolutely not. You can't wear this uniform, and you can't even take it off. Do you really think that I, the first level superintendent, is a vegetarian? At this time, Yu Yingwei was furious, and was about to take out the baton he was carrying. But at the critical moment, He Chengfu came forward to stop him. Old He, what are you doing? Yu Yingwei not only didn't understand, but got even more angry, you made a mistake, do you know that? Your apprentice is ignorant and foolish. Is it possible that you are a master too? 
I'm in a hurry, but I can say anything. He Cheng Fu was speechless. He curled his lips and said, Old you, after so many years, you still haven't changed a bit. Who told you that my apprentice is fooling around? If I say that the person he caught is a thief, do you believe it or not? To catch a thief, I believe you a ghost. Yu Yingwei said angrily, Hurry up and let me go, this is the jurisdiction of our Hidong police station. I welcome you to come to visit. If your master and apprentice make trouble, hum. A cold snort is enough to represent Yu Yingwei's attitude. He Cheng Fu shrugged and was about to explain. But at this time, Zhao Hao over there has been carrying people back in a hurry. Two mobile phones and one wallet, people get stolen money. Zhao Hao sneered, hey, this kid still wants to argue, but his phone can't be unlocked. The ID card in the wallet is even more funny, it's a girl. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe my channel.